Hi everyone, it's Sue and welcome back to Discovering the Art of Living. If you're new to my channel, click on the subscribe button below as well as the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content. So last Fine Art Friday, I attempted to recreate this Cafe Terrace at Night by Van Gogh. So if you missed that video and wanted to see how I made out, just click on the link above and that will take you through the step-by-step -step process. So today's Fine Art Friday, I thought I would tackle a really tricky Leonardo da Vinci the Mona Lisa. So if you want to see how I made out with this one, let's get started. The Mona Lisa is a half-length portrait painting by Italian artist Leonardo da Vinci. It is considered a masterpiece of the Italian Renaissance and has been described as the best known, the most visited, the most written about, the most sung about, the most parodied work of art in the world. The painting is likely of the Italian noblewoman Lisa Gerardini, the wife of Francesco del Giocondo, and is in oil on a white poplar panel. It's believed to have been painted between 1503 and 1506. However, Leonardo may have continued working on it as late as 1517. After the French Revolution, the painting was moved to the Louvre in France, but spent a brief period in the bedroom of Napoleon. On August 21st, 1911, the painting was stolen from the Louvre. The missing painting was first noticed the next day by painter Louis Barreau. After some confusion as to whether the painting was being photographed somewhere, the Louvre was closed for a week for investigation. French poet Guillaume Apollinaire came under suspicion and was arrested and imprisoned. He implicated his friend, Pablo Picasso, who was brought in for questioning. Both were later exonerated. The real culprit was a Louvre employee who had helped construct the painting's glass case. He carried out the theft by entering the building during regular hours, hiding in a broom closet, and walking out with the painting hidden under his coat after the museum had closed. The Mona Lisa bears a strong resemblance to many Renaissance depictions of the Virgin Mary, who was at the time seen as an ideal for womanhood. The woman sits markedly upright in an armchair with her arms folded, a sign of her reserved posture. Her gaze is fixed on the observer. The woman appears alive to an unusual extent which Leonardo achieved by his method of not drawing outlines. The soft blending creates an ambiguous mood, mainly in two features, the corners of the mouth and the corners of the eyes. Mona Lisa has no clearly visible eyebrows or eyelashes. Some researchers claim that it was common at this time for genteel women to pluck these hairs as they were considered unsightly. Before the 1962-1963 tour, the painting was assessed for insurance at $100 million, equivalent to $650 million in 2018, making it, in practice, the most highly valued painting in the world. The insurance was not purchased. Instead, more was spent on security. see the last Easter egg in our Easter egg hunt? If so, write it down because that was the last of the 12 letters and or symbols that you need in order to unscramble the secret word. Now on Monday, April the 13th, there will be a very short wrap up video of the Easter egg hunt. At that time, at the end of that video, you need to be the first person to write down the unscrambled secret word in the comment section, including the symbol. So it's an 11 letter word and one symbol. And you need to be the first person to put that comment after the April 13th video in order to win the watercolor painting prize. If you put it in before that, you'll be disqualified. So good luck. That was the last Easter egg. If you missed any of the previous Easter egg videos, there will be a link at the end of this video so that you can watch them all. Good luck. <music> 